the door. Then he comes back, he says to me, my mom wants to talk to you. I'm like... I'm a, I'm a you know the fucking vibes are already if you are new here my name is Rafaela and all my social media platforms if you've been here my loves thank you for coming back thank you for coming back to your inconsistent queen but I did say I'm trying to make it work so today I have something rather different right after realizing that um, I actually enjoy story times not story times but rather I I, I I enjoy sit down videos okay i i actually do like talking to you guys i like talking anyway if you guys do know me i love to talk i will talk child. so um, after realizing that i actually do enjoy like sit down videos talking to you guys you know vibes um just to kind of shy away from too much of vlogs and whatever because this channel really is all just everything lovely man like i don't want to like box myself into like one thing but if you do know i am a fashion influencer well i wouldn't say influencer scratch that i am a fashion digital content creator and lifestyle content creator but i opened this channel just to kind of like let loose of the too much of the curated content that i will be that i usually put out on instagram if you don't follow me you're missing out because i am kind of a big story and i continue to show you why i am gonna be even a bigger of a story so as i was saying i do enjoy sit down videos and i decided why not create a series a part of a series on my channel that's gonna be called dun, 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 the couch right so the couch is basically just like show me let's chill and talk and gossip imagine after like a long week of just like just a long week and you're chilling with your friend you guys are talking you're gossiping you're having fun you're playing games you're drinking um that's what the couch is for and um, everything more bands everything story times everything which is my favorite one bringing guests uh my friends potentially in the future hopefully my colleagues or rather youtubers that are going to be on my channel it's all going to be happening on this beautiful couch okay so today enough of the yuppity yuppity, yuppity. today's first video is going to be a story time something very different because i never thought i'd be the one to do story times because mainly because i never i don't think i'm a good storyteller but this is something that happened a long time ago and i guessed why not it be the first thing that i do on the couch you know introducing something on the lights you know something you guys might find funny i actually find it funny now after like it's been a long time really i'm not like bummed about it or anything it's actually weird but yeah so the couch is gonna be so cozy guys so don't expect anything serious don't expect too much of the it's something cozy that's why you guys are seeing me in my little cute set um it is a pj set silk you know because silk just makes you feel expensive oh am i the only one it makes me feel like you know so talking about cozy what's not cozy and says gossip and let's chat on a regular i don't know any other day of the week besides popcorn so popcorn definitely says let's sit down let's vibe out let's chat let's gossip let me into your darkest secrets you know what i'm saying or whatever so i'm matching this with a breezer it's my first time having this drink i decided why not try it out and this flavor is cold i don't know i just saw red and i was like hmm, red is rather like it's reminding me of like beautiful though beautiful is pink but you get the vibe so yeah i think the oh the flavor is called watermelon so i'm gonna try this out while i tell you guys the story of how i got scammed and how his mom basically walked in on us. <laughs> Woo, cha! Let me just let, let me just. Let me know what I 
ya go the go thalikele di le nna guys this is delicious this is delicious This is delicious. So, <laughs> this happened a long time ago. So, don't even try and calculate and whatever. It happened a way really long time ago. And I don't know how I even put myself in situations like that. But basically, Lele Mugai, I want Mugai. It wasn't the time in my life where I was like, I was dating. I was like, I was dating. I was like, you know why? You know, gotta meet people out there i was ready to date i was ready to mingle i was single i was having you know as in a space i was like give out a moment to you know um i don't know why i thought this was the right platform to meet someone but yeah let me just why do you guys put in your popcorn now guys go mm. Mm. When I say popcorn, might be just the healthiest snack, but it bangs. Okay, it bangs. Okay, okay. Let me actually start the story properly, right? I met this Mughal. Bear in mind, he's not my type. He's not my type, but I kept an open mind, right? We're gonna call him. I don't want to say get lying. Okay, we're just gonna call him with my keys, honey. Hey, come with that Oscar Bohamurek. Come with that Murek. Okay, come with that Murek because it's definitely, it's actually such a like, it's like a mind dude because he's not a Mureki at all. <laughs> For the sake of just love, so I met this guy. Mind you, this was probably like the last time I'll ever like accept DMs and actually take people from social media seriously. This was the first, no, it wasn't the first time, but it was definitely the last time I ever took anyone from social media. So if a guy, even if like God sent me that person is the last time, I'm like, I don't know, he'll have to find a way for us to meet, but it's not happening through social media because I'm sure it's okay. So, get up with some Moraki, we met on social media. Um, um, we started talking, you know. I started talking for a few weeks. I started talking, vibing. I do know how talking stages are, and I don't know. I kind of fell in love with just. I don't even know what it was, but I think it was the the charm and how he spoke to me. And I think in that time I was kind of naive and I didn't, as we always say, guys, we. Girls ignore the red flags, right? I could have seen from there that this guy was a fraud. Personality-wise, just everything. Like, I hate niggas. Okay, for me personally, I hate niggas who overstyle themselves. Like, maybe you see me on social media, you think this girl is like this, this girl, give her nana valley. Maybe I am, but like, I mean, really, you don't have to overstyle. If you are that person, you are that person. If you're a rich nigga, you're a rich nigga. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, if you're broke, you're broke. If you're rich, you're rich. You don't have to like yappy 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 about it, you know. And for him, he was constantly that guy who used to oversell himself. He would like have to always make comments. He'll always have to say something to to kind of reassure me that hey, I'm racked up. You get what I'm saying? I'm racked up. And in the beginning, I mean, it was all like, oh, okay, cool, mm -hmm. but like, it was getting irritating, but I didn't really mind it because, you know, when you really like a guy, you're just like, ah, oh, whatever. Then it so happened that she said, okay, I think we should really see each other. Um, let's, you know, let's go on a date, right? Let's go on a date and spend the weekend together, right? This person, mind you, he lives on the other side of South Africa okay people who are from Joburg know what i mean he lives too far away from Gauteng. he lives too far away from johannesburg rather he lives too far away from johannesburg and quite frankly 
I don't even know like, why I would get myself into that situation because I'm not the type to do long distance type of relationships. But I was so hopeful. Like, guys, I'm a lover, okay? Like, I love love. I like to just be like so obsessed with the person and just be like, you know what? Let's, let's see where really this is gonna take us. I mean, first of all, I don't know why I didn't ignore the first red flag. He's short. <laughs> He's short, okay? First of all, short niggas deserve less. They deserve less than more, like less than they already have. Less than they already have. But, but, it was a Friday, I remember, and we decided that we're gonna go on a date, we're gonna spend the weekend together, and all of that vibes. But I, he was going on the tip of Mina now is a Jola, we're gonna do this thing. You know, men and selling you dreams, guys. Me and now we're gonna be like we're gonna be going in. You get what I'm saying? And I was just like, ah, why not? YOLO. And I ended up going to where he resides and the, basically the weekend was all like vibes. I saw his beautiful home. His beautiful home. And there were so many red flags about that house that really are not really important because now I thought he was a Mureki. I thought, hey. And he kept making excuses like, oh, we just moved in here, yada, yada, yada. But I was like, hey, like, I'm not here for all of that. I'm here for you, baby. I'm here for you, okay? Okay, so the first weekend was amazing. The first weekend was amazing. Date, vibes, chilling. Because I thought, like, this is it, like, Ciso Jola. Like, this is where we headed, okay? So, slowly, and mind you, it was around, it was around, like, Valentine's Day. It was, like, around, I'm on Valentine's Day and things like that. And I'm thinking, like, no, the, the weekend of Valentine's Day, we're going to spend it together. We ended up not really spending. And because I'm still stupid, like, who wouldn't want to spend the Valentine's Day with their boyfriend? Like, Oh, your man like it's valentine's weekend like maybe i'm too much of like a lover i believe in but i do believe in those things but he didn't even try and i was just like you know what that was before i understood that the bare minimum is the bare minimum okay cool cool and then valentine's weekend passes we have to see each other again so we make plans to see each other and whatever and now this is mind you we haven't really been dating i say dating because really we haven't we didn't really get straight into a relationship but we haven't been really dating for like for a long time like that's not really for a long time but because things were moving and you know when you guys are dating getting to know each other you get you see each other like almost all the time so we'd speak and whatever and then we're like okay we make plans for us to see each other okay this is where it went it took an hour okay it took an hour this weekend was the weekend where i said no more guys guys i forgot i forgot the important part about us the first time we actually met ah! the first time that we actually met what happened was <laughs> wait how can i forget this how can i forget this on the short time okay so mind you when i mentioned the fact that this guy lives like on the other side of town right on the other side of town think of ubers guys uber is fucking expensive right but he said to me okay cool request whatever when you get here I will have the Uber driver, right? I'm relaxed because I don't like I don't know. Some some part of me, I mean I trusted that he would do because why would he make me leave Johannesburg to go all in the other province for nothing? Cool. So in the Uber, mind you, this Uber is like long, y'all. The Uber is expensive. And at the time, one thing about me, I do not leave a place, I do not leave my house in my kiss naturally. Especially if I'm going far. I guys don't go anywhere we don't have money. If you don't have money, stay at home. Simple as that. Stay at home because you don't know Uzo Shanga Nangani, Lumuntu Law, Uzo Eh Ye Ye. You know what I'm saying? And it's just that in case of emergency, like if in case of anything that happens. Okay, cool. So I left when I left, it was really like late. Like it was really late. 
and when i got there mind you this person lives in like in, a, in an estate right he lives in an estate so when you get there you have to obviously call him to like kind of like give me the code or come to the gate or whatever i can't believe i forgot this crucial part of the story right so when i get there i call him to be like hey baby Gilana, like you know type of thing hi bo hi bo hi bo hi bo this person doesn't respond i kid you not i chilled in that uber for probably longer than 40 minutes this uber driver is fucking agitated he doesn't believe he's one of the, you obviously like uber drivers now they don't even trust hands because they're thinking ah this hand is scamming me she brought me all the way this side for nothing i wasted petrol and now he's getting agitated he wants to leave me here he's just pissed off and i'm just like how can this guy do this to me like what's happening i'm nervous like i'm about to like break down i'm literally freaking angry so he doesn't come to the gate for like 40 minutes he leaves me at the gate knowing that you have a hand coming you know that you have someone coming over like you have we have date night we have all of that that's happening right he didn't respond to my calls didn't respond to anything for 40 minutes straight after 40 minutes he finally calls and tells me oh my god i'm so high um whatever i don't know why in that moment i didn't turn around and go back home i don't know because the tulu now would have just been pissed off and just left but i was just like head over hill still and i was just like you know what it's an honest mistake he's high i don't know he slept he passed out i don't know but i'm like you know that you're expecting me like why would you okay right mind you he had to fetch me at the gate when he gets at the gate um he needs to somehow call his mom <laughs> He needs to call his mom. He needs to call his mom to get the code. And I'm like, I would, in my head, I'm like, I'm going to his mom's house. But before I even ask questions, he's one of those. Like, he wants to step in and reassure you. You see those ones? They want to play with your mind. It's very manipulative. So he steps in and says to me, no, like, I don't know. He says something like, like, I, um, I bought this house for my mom and now like i'm not seen as there is i don't know what he said i don't remember but it was some booyaka freaking story that did not make sense because if this is your house i mean you should have the code access to it but every time we'd leave even when we went for a date every time we'd leave it was a situation of like hey okay we'd leave but when we have to come back we call the mom and the mom over the phone is like you can hear them and the, the mom is like whatever right okay cool okay fast forward fast forward to like after the valentine's after that week now i have to go to his to his place again you know me and dr diane we're gonna have like date night weekend with my man and whatever huh child child when i get there uh that night as always we chill we're drinking and whatever in the island out but in the conversations, he was starting to really take me off. Like, he was really starting to take me off. Like, he'd make slight like, conversations about his cars or his house, like, his company. Like, you know, things like that. It's people who oversell themselves. And quite frankly, I, I did not understand why you have to, like, sell yourself. If it's yours, it's yours. Like, you don't have to, like, over-explain what you have and don't have. Yeah, boy, this, this story is again some boy i can't look over my man he's trying to bore me out but something is just like you know what i'm gonna block this guy probably after whatever like i'm not gonna block him but i'm gonna just this this is we're not going any further because i'm starting to realize that we are incompatible right okay cool um I don't know we know we get a little bit tipsy and whatever then we i don't know he even mentioned the fact that maybe we should go to the club right cool but now it's getting late so i don't know what happened in the midst of all of that so we end up not going anyway and we we sleep right so <laughs> this is where it when it goes down y'all this is where it goes down so as we're sleeping now it's like after hours guys it's probably about 1 a.m as we're sleeping i we hear like sounds right and i'm like who's in, in my head i'm like hey boy, who's in the house 
I'm hearing sounds, it's kids. It's kids, it's definitely girls. And it's young, like it's young kids and and a woman, right? And I'm like, then he wakes up, he's like, fuck. I'm like, fuck. He, what do you mean, fuck? Like, baby, there's people in your house. Ah. <laughs> Why are you so relaxed? Call security something, there's people in your house. In our house, baby. There's people in our house. What do you mean? Okay? Cool, right? And then he's like, just stay here, right? I'm like, of it, of it, obviously, if there's intruders in our house, why would I leave you the man? You need to go and sort it out, baby, right? He leaves and then um, he goes outside of the room, right? And then I can hear that he's speaking to these people. And but they've been very quiet about it. So I'm like, hmm, what's happening? Could this be his mom? <laughs> Could this be his mom, right? As I'm sleeping, guess who walks in, y'all? Guess who opens the door? Guess who opens the door? His little sisters. They open the door. And luckily it was in the dark, so they like couldn't really see me. They open the door, they like oops you know type of thing and i'm like oh hell no what is going on like what is actually going on right so um and then i don't know then he comes back he says to me my mom wants to talk to you i'm like what do you mean your mom wants to talk to me first of all she can't come to your house and says she wants to talk to your hand like like about what it's 1 a.m you know and um, okay I don't know we sorted it out and it was a thing of like okay we'll talk in the morning in the morning guys hope you meeting hope you a meeting go a family table you know who's the last again meeting ya hore oh man what are you doing with my son and all of that and i'm like in my head i'm like okay okay Literally, I go out to the living room and I sit. I sit. Then this lady is fucked up rude. I'm not even trying to be disrespectful, but she is so rude. She's telling me she doesn't even know me, but I don't know. She's assuming maybe I'm here, like, I don't know, for money or I'm here. For, what money? There should be like, there should be like gold to dig in the first place, but I'm not there, okay? Um, I'm here for some sort of whatever I'm seeing, maybe the lavish, the what what and I'm like, baby, do you in my head I'm like, but do you do you know who, where I, where I come from or do you know who I am? Like like why you are judging me? Like why are you judging me, you know? So she's telling me things like this is then she first says, This is my house. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like in my head I'm like, what do you mean this is your house? Like, what do you mean? No, she's going on like a regular parent. Like, this is my house. Um, what are you guys doing here? Does your parents know that you're coming like to like? I think I'm giving. I think. Kima in. Yes, Kima Swadi. If I remember correctly. Yeah, so she's like she incorporates that language, like the language, because obviously I keep I keep Swadi, I keep Swadi. And she's just going off about. Um, uh, the fact that I'm a girl, she wanted to kick me out yesterday out of her house. Um, what am I doing here? At like, we are not even married yet, but I'm busy at like, go on fine. Like, it's like, the go on, and I'm in my head. I'm like, I don't want to say, lady, first of all, your son lied to me, he lied, he lied. I thought, like, I'm at his place, like, obviously, if you're at your place, like. Your, your man's place like you're chilling like you're not thinking that the mother's just gonna come and walk in and want to kick you kick you out at night she said but you're a girl so i decided like it's unsafe to let you uber at that time but i want you to leave i don't want to ever see you again i don't want this happening under my roof wow wow what what and whatever like she's bragging to me about oh like she's like exactly like her son 
okay she's bragging about what she has who she is what i'm doing here like treating me like i'm a low life right i'm like okay cool definitely i'm not coming back here right and this bro decides okay sharp i'm gonna request for you so he requests and he makes the payment cash and i'm like okay cool and he's like okay um i'm gonna like send you the cash while you're on the way so i'm relaxed and i'm just thinking about what the hell happened like what actually happened mind you the previous night when i came in with the uber the payment was a cash again the payment was cash and he made me pay for that uber and i was like cool he was like no baby like i'll i'll replace it or something like that and i think we didn't even pay the full amount for the uber because i had only withdrawn i only had in a specific amount of cash on me so i gave the uber driver i think maybe like a quarter of the money and he said that he will send the uber driver the money do you understand that the whole night the uber driver was calling did he end up paying that guy no that was a first scam guys that was a first scam he didn't pay that uber driver he never paid i don't know how it worked out but he, the uber driver kept calling he kept calling i think i had to even block the number kept calling like you sent your call because i don't know he lied about his wi-fi or something like that he lied that he didn't have wi-fi but i'm like just get data and make the payment like it wasn't even that much you know that mind you so i was still skeptical because i'm like if you're gonna make this payment cash and you don't even pay yesterday's uber driver like what's gonna happen you know i thought i knew Gucci. i was dating a mama's boy who's living under his mom's roof and he's lying about all the things that are under this roof the cars the house and everything they are not his right he was just like straight up lying you know what i'm saying but i was like why did you have to lie because i didn't ask for any of that niggas lie and oversell themselves and then now you the problem when this person is not like cooperating with the title that they gave you right okay okay then uber uber um calls an uber for me i'm coming back to job on the way i think i even call my friend and tell her about the crazy night that I had of the mom, the sisters walking at, walking in on me and the mom telling me about all this bullshit. On top of that, when I get to Joburg, <laughs> when I get to Joburg, he still hadn't made the payment, right? He still hadn't made the payment. So I text them, I'm like, like I'm literally five minutes away from a place. Like, what's happening? Like, make the payment to the Uber driver or to my account so that I can, you know. But in my head, I'm like, okay, I have money. If anything happens, I'll just pay this Uber and just get it over and done with. Because clearly, I'm dealing with, you know, a scammer here. So, okay, I go, and then <laughs> this scammer sends me a proof of pay a fake proof of payment <laughs> yo and mind you i believe it because for the first five minutes i believed it because i was like obviously the money's not gonna get in now because um it's different bank so maybe it will clock in later or the next day right so i'm like let me pay and then it will like obviously it would kind of reimburse the money that i paid hi man my friend and I, when I get home, we look over that payment. Was it not photoshopped and edited? Was it not photoshopped and edited? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not going to fight this guy. I'm not going to fight him because clearly this boo, he's a scam. He's a fraud. And like, I don't know why all of this is just why he's making up this fake like image of who he is just to get with the girl or just to i don't know you know what i'm saying like i was just like yeah instagram pressure will really get to you know so then we find out that no this thing is photoshopped because we can see the zeros are not i'm not cooperating 
the date was the date but even the number you call and like you know like on the payment like, it will show like call like let's say it's like discovery bank or fnb it will say call zero eight one 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 i think it didn't even make sense like the payment basically was photoshopped and let me tell you when i say that was the last time that bro ever heard from me that was the last time he ever heard of me um i just i just couldn't believe it i i just couldn't believe how much of a fraud that was in and how much i put i placed myself in a situation to be disrespected by another like woman that i don't even know to come and tell me like hey hey this is my house hey hey you come from wherever you come from to come into this home do you even know how much this place is do you know helen i don't i don't even answer back but hey guys that's how i got scammed okay so basically i owed myself to that like place in another side thing get off your instagram at this point i opened myself i owed myself back only to really get played you know especially if you didn't plan all of this it's like okay we, you, you're gonna request you know type of things things like that and in my head because he was contradicting like my thing is like you you could really never tell like what was his story like he was contradicting like he will say some truth in something so you start to believe in and then when you look at some things it's like oh but it doesn't connect you see what i'm saying but that was the last time i ever like make like i ever doubt ever doubt the people who lie about they like they where they come from where they live jay jay like niggas like that really need help but yeah yeah, I just thought I should share with you guys. I didn't even eat much of my popcorn, but this is the first episode of the couch, and hopefully I get to do more. I have another idea that I want to do, like wind down Wednesdays, um, you know, where I introduce you to affordable taste in wines different kinds of wines that i really enjoy that are under 100 rand because this channel it's not lax okay i do not have money for a 400 rand bottle of wine mind you i'm still a student okay but in in any case it's like there's no need like there are amazing wines out there that taste amazing and they're so affordable so i'm gonna put you guys on and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this story time which really it was bull crap and it's funny now that i look back at it and i'm just like i can't believe that happened but yeah yeah um hope you guys gonna come back to my channel because i hope you guys are subscribed because i will continuously try and show you guys why i'm kind of a big story so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye series.